What's up everybody? This is CryptoBox with another video. If you're new here, I make videos daily about blockchain games and NFT subscriber if you're here to make some gains. Also, check my Discord and Telegram down below in the description. You can find me there, ask me questions, give me suggestions, and communicate with other people. So let's get started with the video. Now, before I get into the video, I want to show you a project I've covered over a month ago. As you can see, I recorded this video and published it on October 22nd. And uh, at the time of the recording, it was about one cent in the project as Coinafish or the CTFT token. And if you take a look at it now, you can see it's over a dollar and thirty cents, which is a hundred x. And it hit an all-time high right here. If you were to check, it had an all-time high of two point two eight dollars, which is more than a hundred fifty x of your money, almost being two hundred x of your money. And uh, yeah, that's just a show that I even predicted as you can see 10x. It's actually more than 10x like I said. Don't want to miss any updates here and there. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of these projects. So in today's video, I'm going to be talking about a project related to Meta Hero. And you can see right here, this is Meta Hero. I've made a video on Meta Hero before. This is a crazy insane project. In my opinion, I, uh, this project is really good. And I find it that they're doing another project or a collaboration with another project you could say which is even crazier um now combining with the craziness in meta hero if you don't know what meta hero is go check out my other video which is at the top right right now uh but meta hero itself is crazy itself you have like some meta scanning technology so it scans like an object uh, 360 and everything and uh that goes into a software into a game into anything basically it basically becomes a 3d model with with ease and um right here you can see that they're located in dubai so that's pretty cool and uh, you can see this is the ceo of their company and um he has some great plans too so you can check out uh, more about him and uh, here you can see this is the project they're basically with and uh, this, the creator or CEO of MetaHero uh, also owns Everdome but uh, they're both great projects and honestly I wouldn't miss out. So Everdome is a project name. It is, it's another metaverse project. MetaHero is not a metaverse. It is just a meta scanner. Then you have the actual metaverse which is hyper realistic metaverse which is uh crazier than sandbox because that is not real like you know and also decentraland it is not real but this is hyper hyper realistic and with their meta scanner technology it makes it even more realistic because it gets all the details in there now if we go to everdome.io right here you can see the hyper realistic metaverse 3.0 experience partnered with metahero.io if you scroll down a bit here you can actually see the meta scanner right it takes place you have the guy uh, and you can see the metaverse now that the creator just became a 3d model he enters the metaverse and uh, you can see the actual metaverse now uh, this is not the quality of the actual video this is just the tw this is just Twitter's generic uh, video quality unfortunately but you can see uh, that they are coming up with the biggest plans for their projects and I think this is the next lead into the metaverse right here you can see this is a comparison right here now if you look at sandbox like I said it, it looks like Minecraft it, it definitely isn't like Minecraft but it looks pixelated it looks blocky something you could at least relate to Minecraft now that doesn't mean it's realistic then second of all we have the Decentraland that looks like cartoon or something it's not real I'm not saying these two projects are bad, obviously. I think these are two great projects. Uh, but then you have Everdome, which actually looks super real. And they are trying to make it as real as it could be. And uh, they want to relate it with the real world experience and make it even better. So I think it looks really cool. And uh, they, you can see, the, again, the trailer right here. And if you go to their website right here, you can see their trailer in a higher quality. And tell what's actually going on. So... Uh, here you can see this is the creator or the CEO. He becomes a 3D model by their meta scanner technology over at Meta Hero. He walks into the Everdome metaverse, and then this is where it gets all real and cool. And uh, you can see it's actually re hyper realistic. It's it's like a cyber city there. You probably have like a, a farm land or something, country, 
uh, vibes, you have the future vibes, all that. And I think it's really cool. You can see how to partake in exclusive Everdome pre-sale. Now, you might think, what is this? Now, if you owned the Meta Hero token uh, before this project was announced, you would be considered as a hero holder. And a hero holder is just uh, holding the Meta Hero tokens. Now, if you had like even like five Meta Hero tokens, which is worth almost like a dollar, I'm pretty sure. And if you only had five, uh, you'd still be counted in as a hero holder. And what I think is really cool is that they took a snapshot of every address that had the he the hero ho token and they put it in a list that they are whitelisted for a pre-sale over at Everdome. And uh, you could now there is a few rules here where uh, here you can see the rules. Any addresses that sell this is after this, the snapshot. Any addresses that sells or transfers out hero is automatically and permanently removed from their whitelist. And so anything you do like that, even one hero token, you're out the whitelist. You cannot come back in. But uh, there's still some good news. If you've never been in this whitelist itself or you've never been in the snapshot or you never had the hero tokens beforehand, you can get in. You can still get in. And uh, the way you can get in is actually uh, you'd have to kind of get more hero tokens than usual. Now, if you had it before and you let's say you had 5,000, you can add more. So you can see right here, you can you may buy more or transfer in hero to move up tiros, tiers. And there's tiers for land sales. So there's going to be a land sale for their metaverse. And if you look at Sandbox, you got like... 200 300 thousand dollar lands selling over there you got like 70 ethereum lands and if you look at this this is like the most realistic project for metaverse you could look at right now and it probably will be for a long long time you can see that not only non-cex wallets are eligible so let's say you're on binance well binance doesn't have a meta hero let's say you're on kucoin which has meta hero uh, you, you didn't get counted in. You actually have to have it like in Trust Wallet or in MetaMask or s something that's not like a, a whole platform exchange. So yeah. Then only existing addresses at the time of the snapshot qualified their, for their very, very early hero whitelist. And any addresses after 10-12 are only eligible for 50,000 plus hero one slot. So 10-12 meaning... So let's say you didn't have hero tokens until after December 10th. Uh, then you'd have to have 50,000 heroes to get one slot for one land. And if you look right here, you need 10,000 heroes, 10,000 10, meta hero tokens to get a 15% land discount and get a slot to getting their land. And so that's basically how it works here. So uh, you can see you have more slots the more you invest and more tokens you have. Uh, but... Here you can see from December 10th to the January 10th of 2022, uh, one slot would cost you over 50,000 heroes to just get a slot. And then you'd only have a 10% land discount. So uh, if you want to get into a project like this, I highly recommend you do it now because there is no later after it might be, it might, might as well be hundreds of thousands of dollars per land. And you never know. So I think this is a really, really cool project. And I, I recommend you check it out. You can see right here that uh, when they announced this project, it was November 25th. So you can see here, this is November 25th when it started picking up pace. But before that, there was no news. You can see it was just, you know, a normal token, you know, gaining a little bit. Because Meta Hero itself is awesome. So uh, here you can see it's just a normal stable token, you know, gaining a little bit. Where when it became November 25th and they they announced this, the news came out and it took a while for everyone to for everyone to get it or like the announcement to hit everyone. And once it did, you can see it it took off right away. But you can tell the volume started increasing right here because that was the build up to their Everdome project. And then here you can see it just it just went so high. So. And uh, it's still probably going to go high. It's going to go higher because people want to get into this project. And they have till December 10th. So they have a lot of time to buy your tokens and to get a slot in the land sale. So 
if there's more demand for buying this token, obviously the token price is going to go higher because you can see right here the volume to buyer to seller ratio. You can tell that there's way more buyers in the market and they want this this hero token right now because they're, they're trying to get into this Everdome project. So I highly recommend uh, you check it out and tell me what do you think about these two projects and if you like them. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Comment what you want for the next video and what game recommend. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.